Are you having YouTube thumbnail issues? For example, you just create this super sweet thumbnail and after you upload it, no matter what you try, no matter what you do, it still will not take. And you've searched everywhere, you still can't figure out what's going on. Well, if so, this video is definitely for you. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, my name is Johnny. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about one big pesky issue that troubled me and just made me so extremely frustrated and yet I turned out being such a simple fix. Uh, I'm talking about YouTube thumbnails. So uh, I'm sure a lot of us may have been in that situation. If not, you might have that someday, unfortunately coming up uh, until we fix that better uh, within YouTube system itself. But that is, let's say you created uh, a super sweet thumbnail, you worked really hard on it, you go to upload the thumbnail, the custom thumbnail I'm talking about, and for some reason it will not take. Uh, let's say you've had, um, I had my own experience, for example, I've uploaded that thumbnail, and for some reason, uh, after clearing cache and everything within the Google, Google Chrome browser, it still would not show and reflect. Yet, when I tried other browsers like Internet Explorer or Safari, it did. So I was like, what the heck was going on? Well, it turns out that it's not a matter of having to do with clearing the cache necessary, uh, necessarily. I mean, yes, that does help. Uh, to help speed up reflection of it, but your browser, if you have Google Chrome, for example, should automatically, at least Google Chrome and others too, should automatically do that as well. Um, so I've seen that where people thought that that was just clearing the matter, the matter of clearing the cache. It's not. If you have done that um, and it's still not reflecting or it's like what I described, shown on other browsers, but not within Chrome itself, which it should really be, it turns out it's actually because of the resolution. Um, YouTube, it's... I, they don't really say it right out, I wish they would, so that's why I say a better implementation of, um, of uh, creating better uh, thumbnails, for example. I wish they would say that more kind of in uh, the requirements. Um, it, they do actually state a certain resolution that they want. I had to really <laughs> do a lot of research to dig through it and finally found it on some, one of their support uh, pages. Um, I'll try to find it again and I'll link to it so, so, so I can show you what I'm talking about. But long story short, they do actually have a required resolution. So what happened in my case was I was trying to upload a photo for a thumbnail that was like really high resolution. Uh, it was probably like 4,000 something by 2,000 something in pixels uh, in dimensions. And it just would not reflect. It was reflecting partly like in my, uh, where I could see my videos, but it was not reflecting for the general public, at least when you're using Chrome. But on Air Explorer it was, once again, like I stated already. Anyways, uh, so it turns out that YouTube wants a required resolution of 1280 by 720. Um, they do state as big as possible, but technically that's uh, inaccurate as far as the information goes. You don't want to do, you don't want to throw a big old uh, 16 meg picture on there, or you're like I was trying to do a 4,000 by 2,000 something image because it'll, it just it, it's just too big for that thumbnail or the way they use their thumbnails and compress it down to that size, uh, and it just uh, YouTube or Chrome at least Google Chrome, I'm sorry, will just reject it and will not show it properly. Um, so um, what I did simply, simple, extremely simple fix, just use any image editor, convert the size um, uh, of the resolution to 1280 by 720 and voila, perfect, perfect upload, perfect, uh, everything was reflecting, su reflecting successfully, etc, etc. So on all, it's a very simple fix, you can do this within any image editor, um, you can even use the basic image, in image editors, like for example if you're using Microsoft Windows, you can even use Microsoft Paint to adjust it, that's actually probably the fastest way too, unless you just like... Um, if, unless you want to use like for something, something more powerful like Adobe or whatnot. Also on Apple Mac OS, if you have a Mac, you can also use their basic image editor, which is actually a little bit more advanced nowadays, uh, called Preview, um, to also adjust the size. Um, and it will, now here's the thing, if you have taken a photo that's more of a 4x3 dimension, not a 60x9, it will make it look a little bit slightly distorted, at least it'll seem that way, but it is necessary because the way YouTube uses these thumbnails is by that 16 by 9 or 1280 by 720 dimensions. Um, now, I actually do upload my thumbnails in a 1920 by 1080 or full HD if you want to call that, um, and it still takes perfectly fine. However, I do see that it's cropping it a little bit, so I sometimes if I don't adjust the text correctly within, like uh, if it's too close to the edge of that picture, it will get cut a little bit. So if you're going to use uh, a 1920 by 1080 resolution, uh, make sure you adjust your text uh, with a little bit less or within uh, uh, the border of the image, not so close to the border, but within. Uh, it uh, within the border, I'm sorry. Um, or if not, just stick to 1280 by 720 and then put your text on that way. So, uh, so long story short, if you have your thumbnail, let's say you took a picture of it or whatnot, or if you're starting off from scratch, whatever the case may be, first convert it, or I should say adjust the resolution down to uh, 1280 by 720 and then add your text and all your graphics and whatnot. So that way everything will come out perfectly 
Um, it has to also be, of course, no bigger than two megabytes. On, um, it can be in a multiple various file formats like PNG, JPEG, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, TIFF, uh, I think it can be BMP. Um, and uh, as long as it fits within that file size and upload it, and you will definitely be good to go. Now, if you still have uh, any questions or you still cannot get it to take for some, and you tried everything I just stated, I definitely want to talk to you. So please contact me. Uh, you can matter of fact, fastest, one of the fastest ways you can leave a comment, of course, or simply contact me on Google Hubouts. Uh, I'm a Google Hubouts provider, and you can contact me via live video, live video, face to face, um, via uh, Google Hubout. So, and your first hubout is free, of course, using my promo code. So please contact me there, and I can use even remote desktop control or screen sharing, whatever you want, to definitely see what's going on and to help resolve your issue because it's actually a simple fix that can be extremely frustrating. Um, and it can, and, and so instead of having to go for hours and hours scoring forms and all the stuff, YouTube, other YouTube videos trying to figure out what's going on, um, uh, please let me know if you're still having these issues and I can help resolve it for you uh, within a matter of minutes, hopefully. All right, everybody, so thanks so much for watching this video. Um, I hope it helps to resolve such a big, frustrating inconvenience in such a simple way. Um, sometimes in troubleshooting, we find out a lot that the biggest problems can be easily resolved by the simplest method. So, thank you so much. Um, and if you haven't already, please click on that subscribe button for more great, awesome content. And please don't forget to click on the thumbs up button and share with all your friends and family. That really, really helps me out in growing my channel. It's really hard uh, for a small YouTuber to really take off and compete with all these other great big YouTube channels. So by doing that, you can really, really help me out a lot and I greatly appreciate it once again. So thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.